Howdy folks, Law Abiding Minnesotan here with Minnesota Press. It's been a while since I uh, put out a video here, but uh, this is about the third or fourth report I've gotten on a, uh, on, a, on a Baxter police officer that might be up to no good. So without further ado, we're just going to get right into it. You ready, buddy? I got a buddy with me who would uh, like to remain off camera for, for now, but uh, he might uh, identify himself later. And so I'm just kind of showing him how to make a public data request. some other I usually don't like to catch the other uh, stuff that other people have going on I usually don't like to put on camera so you can but I don't like it that is all on Hey, he's, uh, I'm going to help you out here, Jeff. Okay. He's actually yeah. looking for uh, Kelly Steele. Is okay. she available? All right, let me go grab right. that meter. Thank you very much. Yes, and I will keep, keep in touch whenever you're going to bring it back. I'll show All you right, how to thanks. do this. Yep. Oh. First, you want to ask for the responsible authority because you have to ask for the data from the responsible authority because if they don't give it to you, Okay. The responsible authority can come back and say, well, I never received a data request from them. So the data request is... Piece of paper she took. Oh, she took it? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Right here? Hi, Kelly. Yeah. You're Kelly Steele, Assistant City Administrator? Yes. And you're the responsible authority for public data for the city of Baxter? Yes. Awesome. My friend here has a public data request. Okay, and this is what you have right here? Mm -hmm. All right, um, so how do you wanna receive? Do you wanna? Uh, here's an email. You want it emailed? Okay, okay. He's just looking for the, any call data or incident report and okay. or uh, search warrants or arrest warrants uh, con uh, regarding the incident right here on, on uh, 927. Yeah. that location? Yep. At about That's eleven, right. yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. So it's it's under uh, Minnesota statute thirteen eighty two subdivision two arrest data subdivision three request for service data and or subdivision six response or incident data, and then if he could just get a uh, lawful basis for any redactions or withholding of any of, of of this data that's requested. Okay. And if he could get a copy of that stamped received. A copy of the stamp received. Yes. Or is there a special sheet that we have to fill out, or will this do, suffice? We, we do have a data request form. If okay. You, if you wanna. Do we have to? Can can we maybe fill out the data request form and then attach that to it? Sure. Would that sound that. reasonable? Yeah, that'd be fine. I, I just don't want it to get denied because we didn't fill out the the form. proper form. Okay, let me so. go print it off. For awesome. You and I'll be awesome. Right Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, 
I just didn't want to get it denied because you didn't have the special form. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, we can just fill out the front of the form and then attach it. Yeah, no, no problem. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind filling stuff out. I know no. pretty much everything approved. Yeah. If I don't know, my phone does. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, public data requester name. Right. They're so. not getting it. First, not getting it. Middle initial, not getting it. Date, put that down. 10 to. Your address, not getting it. Information well, requested, please see attached. If you get one in before lunch, before lunch, I think I'll probably speak to you. Phone, not getting it. Request to inspect data, check that. Because if you check this box, they can charge you. <laughs> Put your email address. Awesome. His handwriting ain't too good. No, okay. sorry. Uh, <laughs> see, I got a tape here. So. That's about all we need, right? Just the date. Please see attached. Request yep. to inspect data and his email. Yep. That's about all you should need. need. Can we get a copy of this mark received too? Sure. Sweet. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your assistance. That's just the form. That, mm -hmm. you know, Process to everything. Yep. No. Also, I just want to let you and my viewers know that you, I think you did a really good job with the data, with the data practices policy updates. Oh, I you. love them. Uh, I just wish that they would be available to the public posted online or something. You know what I mean? I think you did a good job. It's just I think the public needs to know about uh, how to do this process. You know what I mean? So if we could get those online and out to the public, that'd be cool. Okay. Yeah. And if anybody ever asks for it, we're happy. Yep. I have a copy of it myself. Okay. And so, and so the, you just said that if anyone asks for it, there's copies of the data practices policy available upon request. Yep. Okay, cool, cool. Yep. All right, thanks, okay. Kelly. Thank Appreciate you. it. Yep, you bet. You want to make you want to report the guy for stealing your phone, right? Yep, yep. All right. Oh yeah. Hello, uh, this guy would like to file a complaint. Please. A complaint, please. Can you file a complaint for? No bosses. No. Xted's not here. No, not. Meyer's not here. No. Uh, we'll file it later then when they come back. They're just out and about right now. Should we get a complaint form? Can we get a blank complaint form? So, all right, thank you. Very welcome. Thank you. Yep, you, you bet. Have a good one. Here's a complaint form. Here's a complaint form. And then we'll have to come back and try and catch Exted and Meyer to Right. Yeah. So fill out the complaint form right. and uh, uh, see, so see, here's the thing. The, like it's like, yeah, yeah, they stole your phone and tried to, and tried to access all my, Google, all my accounts. access private data on your phone. And I mean, when your car was towed, the phone was in your car from what I understand. Yeah. And, and he told me he didn't know anything about it. Yeah. like, the well, I can check the dash cam video. 
Yeah. I'll get back to you. Yeah. I didn't even make it home. And he called Jacob and said, oh, your phone's at the police department. Oh, your phone's at the police department. So it's he not knew in, well he had my It's phone. not in your car where you left it. Where I left it. It was at the police he department the police where department he stole it, it and brought it. At the police department where and he signed stole for it. And, and I have video it. of the entire pickup. See, you know, that is an unlawful seizure. They cannot seize your property without due process of law. Right. It, and, and, and it's Fifth Amendment property rights deprivation as well without due process of law. You can't just take a man's phone and try to access his public data. So right. that's what the complaint is going on about. And the uh, the public data request we just put in is to get uh, incident data, arrest data, any call data associated uh, with the alleged incident you were involved in. This Correct. is just an alleged incident, okay? Correct. So I think we're just about done. We're probably gonna wrap it up here. Uh, anything else, buddy, you wanna let my viewers know about? Uh, I appreciate your help. Yeah, yeah. He appreciates our help, and thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll see what comes about. We'll, I, I will post on my, I usually post on my, not usually, almost always post on my community page. When I receive uh, uh, responses to public data requests, I'll post those on my community page. And, of course, we'll be following up on the complaint for the stolen phone as well. So, thanks for watching, guys. We will see you on the next one. Remember to like, share, comment subscribe appreciate all you guys check you later